assalamu alaikum hi friends how are you hope you all are fine welcome back to my youtube channel in this video we will learn a forward and reverse circuit diagram many places you see a motor is working on forward and reverse so how it control to forward and reverse let learn in this video here i will teach you a very simple and basic way to learn which one you never forget it if you put your attention on it so first of all we will make a power circuit diagram and then complete to control for power we need a two contractor and one overload relay and a three pole breaker and a motor so we start to make a circuit first So here you see the connection between the contactor, the first contactor and the second contactor we change a one color of cable from them. Mean it first contactor have red, yellow, blue, then the reverse one contactor have blue, yellow and red. So it can change the motor rotation. And out of the contactor will be the same connected to the overload relay and then it goes to the motor. So here we complete a power circuit and now we will make a control circuit. For control circuit we need a two push button switch for forward and a reverse and one E stop and one control breaker. So let's start to make a control circuit. So first of all we will run a neutral wire to complete one side of both contactors coil and then phase. So we take a neutral from a breaker and connected to overload relay in normally close and then from normally close to the contactor coil and also the other contactor. So here we complete the neutral one and now we will complete the phase. We will take the power from breaker phase and give it to the e-stop and then separately push button forward and push button reverse. So now we will take to the power from push button forward and give it to the forward coil through the normally close point of the reverse contactor. Why we use this point? Due to when we turn on the normally close, uh, turn on the reverse, so it will be open and the, at the same time the forward contactor will not work. So it break the power from here. So we will take the power from other side and give it to the contactor coil. So you see when we will turn on the power uh, push button forward. So it will pass from the normally contactor uh, reverse normally close point of the reverse contactor and it will goes to the coil A2 in, in the forward contactor. So when it will the con this contactor energizes KM2. So this point of normal close point will be goes to open and that time you if you push so it will not pass the power from here. So that's why we use this one and this system called interlocking system. So now we will take the power from the push button of the reverse and give it to the same normal close point of the forward and then take from the other side and give it to the reverse contactor coil A2. So it will also the same action as like the reverse contactor so when you will uh, turn uh, push the button and the power will came up to normal close and if this contactor is closed that time it will be the other contact reverse contactor will work if the forward contactor close if the forward contractor on and you want to push a reverse the so it will stop the power from here on the normal close point 21 so this system called interlocking system. So hope you understand. And now I will make uh, directly uh, uh, one slide also will show you how it uh, stop the work if you push the second button and the first button both both each time. So you will see better to understand that one. 
thank you so here there is only a control circuit so you can easily understand the neutral wire you already know how to connect through overload relay now we have already connected a phase to uh, through e, e stop and then to push button forward and reverse so first of all we will take the forward button push and then the power will goes through reverse contactor to to the forward contactor K, km1 so start now you take you see this when you push the power will move from switch to the contactor normally close point this is the interlocking when it will on so it will not uh, give the any way to cross the current from here so you see the contactor km1 will goes on so it will pass from here so when you will push to reverse then what happen we will see so you, when we will remove the switch so the current will uh, cut down from here so now we'll push button reverse we will push and the current flow from here to the same as km2 in normal close and this is the interlocking when it will on so normal close point will goes open and the current will not flow from here so if this contactor is off so that time it will pass from here and the km2 will goes on if the same time you push two buttons like here like you see now the current will flow from here but due to you see the current is just only stop there because the km2 is on if the km2 is on so current will not pass from here because the normal close already open so when it will off then that time it will be pass from here to coil of the km1 in the forward contactor so hope you understand this one thank you very much